So you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, Georgia and wondering about the school systems? Which school district is better? Which school district have better and higher test scores? Which school districts uh, have a better student teacher ratio? Well, you found it. And in today's video, we're going to tackle exactly those issues. So let's get into the video. So if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Raymond and I'm a local realtor here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and I created Atlanta, Georgia Living to do exactly what we're doing today, which is educate people like yourself that want to know more information about Atlanta, Georgia, and the metropolitan area. Living here, sleeping here, eating here, and working here. What does it feel like? This YouTube channel is dedicated to tackle and answer those questions. So if you're looking for more information about Atlanta, Georgia, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified when I post more content and uh, more videos. So also I wanna invite you to check out the description below, my phone number, contact information, email address, everything is there. So if you're thinking about relocating to Atlanta, Georgia, my team and I stand ready to assist you make the smooth move here to Atlanta. Uh, so definitely reach out to me. Uh, I've helped countless of families relocate here to the Atlanta metropolitan area, just like you. Uh, and, and, and they met me just like you met me here on YouTube. So yes, I'm real. I am a real person. I am a licensed realtor and I get the job done. So let's talk about exactly what you're here for today, which is the public school systems here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So I'm going to break down the top five uh, public school systems here in Atlanta metropolitan metropolitan area. I'm going to show you the geographical area that, that they cover. We're going to talk about the student-teacher ratio. We're going to talk about the test scores. We're going to talk about the different programs that are offered by each different district. So this is going to be a very uh, intense video. So if this is what you're looking for, this is the channel for you. This is the video for you rather. So stick around, watch the whole video through, drop a comment below. Let me know which uh, school district you're targeting. Uh, and if you have questions about school district, drop them in the comment below so we can have a conversation there. So let's get over to the computer and let's get after it. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, welcome to the computer. So we are inside of the computer um, and we're going to go ahead and jump on here. And uh, we're going to take a look at the top five um, best school districts in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So just for context, understand, and I'm going to show you when we open up, um, I'm going to draw the map around which areas that we're going to be uh, targeting. The Atlanta metropolitan area, just based on numbers and radius, now 40 miles, safe to say 40 miles around the city center. Um, everything within that 40 mile uh, radius is calculated in this um, assessment today. Okay, so if you're looking to live within 40 mile radius of downtown Atlanta, then yes, we're gonna be uh, focusing on that same geographical area um, that you're targeting. So if the certain city um, school district is not necessarily represented in this top five, then you know it's probably likely not one of the better school districts of the uh, Atlanta Metropolitan School Districts. Uh, so let's get into the computer and let's uh, go take a look. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so our first school district that we're gonna take a look at today, and it's gonna be in the number five position. This uh, school district ranks number five uh, in the Atlanta Metropolitan area, and that is gonna be Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County Public Schools. Gwinnett County Public Schools is a really large school district. Uh, let me give you the numbers. So the Gwinnett County School District um, is 180,000 180, students um, and it's a very diverse school district. So let's just kind of look at some of the data, okay? So we're going to take a look at the report card first. Uh, Gwinnett County Public Schools here. Academics, uh, B min B plus, teachers B plus. This is just overall ranking, right? So if you wanted to kind of look at this, but the strengths are diversity, uh, a very diverse school district, uh, very a very good and progressive with the sports. Uh, Gwinnett County School is highly rated public school district located in Swanee, Georgia. It has 180,589 students from K uh, from grades pre-K to 12th grade with a student teacher ratio of 16 to 1 on average. According to uh, state test scores, 54% of students are at least proficient in math and 53% in reading okay so Gwinnett County Public Schools do offer uh, the AP offer AP courses as well as the IB courses uh, and 
it also has a gifted program. Uh, one of the one of the interesting things uh, to learn about. Uh oh, sorry. Uh, I just want to bring this up for you guys, showing you the differences between the AP uh, course and a IB course. So let's do that now. Okay, so what I've put on the screen is going to be the comparison, the pros and cons between the AP versus IB. But before we do that, let me just give you the definition between the two, okay? I'm going to flash those two definitions on the screen. Okay, so now you've had an opportunity to take a look at the differences between or the definitions of AP versus IB. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons between the two type of programs, okay? And then we're gonna kind of get back into uh, which particular school districts offer this out of the top five here in Atlanta, okay? So one of the biggest things, in my opinion, uh, one of the biggest differences between advanced placement versus IB, just in my general opinion, is uh, advanced placement is an individualized approach uh, on a case by case, student by student basis. Um, and the actual designation or the credit for that advanced placement is solely determined based upon the um, the final exam, whereas the IB, uh, it is based on the coursework as well as the final exam. Another big difference is between AP and IB is the way that they're recognized around the world. So advanced placements are mostly going to be universities and colleges here in the United States, whereas the IB program is going to be more recognized around the world because it's an international baccalaureate diploma versus the advanced placement diploma and credit rather. Um, so that is that is the two biggest differences, uh, but you can take some time to just kind of scroll that. Feel free to pause the video here and just kind of go through uh, the differences between those two things. And I also link this um, uh, infographic um, down below where you can actually download it and actually kind of take some time and look at it yourself, okay? So let's just jump back over into Gwinnett County since we've gotten that out of the way. Okay, so with a student-teacher ratio of 16 to 1, uh, test scores are 54% in math and 53% in reading, okay? Uh, so let's just drill down a little bit more on their rankings. Um, so now, although it is number five best district overall, in my opinion, it ranks number one uh, as the most diverse school district in Georgia, okay? So if you're looking for a school system for your child in a very diverse setting, Gwinnett County Public School System is definitely, should be high on your list, okay? Um, some of the top elementary schools in uh, Gwinnett County Public Schools is Riverside Elementary, Simpson Elementary, and Parson Elementary, Swanee and Dyer. Uh, I'll show you the same for Middle School, Five Forks, North Gwinnett, Hull Middle, Alton Cruz, Middle, Frank Osborne Middle, and then you're going to get over to the high schools, Gwinnett County, uh, or Gwinnett School of um, uh, Mathematics, Science, and Technology, North Gwinnett High, Brookwood High School, Peachtree Ridge High School, and Parkview High School. So those are the top um, five schools in each particular grade level. Um, and let's just kind of just drill down a little bit more on the academics. Um, so they have a graduation rate. I will point this out here in um, Gwinnett County. This is very this this is very good. A graduation rate of eighty one percent. All right, the average SAT scores is eleven eighty. Uh, the average uh, ACT score is twenty six. Okay, so that gives you some perspective as it relates to. Um, exactly you know the strengths in that respect uh let's just look at some of the teachers here and some of the finances all right uh, so as i said before the student teacher ratio is 16 to 1 whereas the national average is 17 to 1. so gwinnett county is doing a little bit better than the national average when it comes to their student teacher ratio but as we get to the other school districts you'll see that number fall um, the average teacher salary here in Gwinnett County is $56,484. Uh, teachers in the first and second year, only 4.7%, which lets you know that teachers are sticking around in Gwinnett County, which means there's consistency in the education, consistency in teaching the curriculum uh, here in this county, which which is one of the reasons why it's in the top um, five, okay? Expenses per student. This was one of... Um, oh, let me scroll that up. Uh, this is a key area, in my opinion, as a parent, 
Uh, I want to know how much money are the school dis districts allocating per child to educate them, okay? Um, and this is important. Uh, uh, Gwinnett County uh, is under the national average, only spending about $10,413 per student for education, uh, expense for, for student. Out of that, it's broken down. 58% of that $10,413 is an instructional expense. 37% are support services and 5% are other. Okay. Um, so that, that, that says a lot as it relates to how much value your student is going to get from their uh, public school education in Gwinnett County, but still ranked amongst the top five. All right, let's talk about the uh, the area in Gwinnett County, living area. So the medium household income is $71,026 above the national average. The medium rents in that area is $1,272. And the medium home value, uh, based on their last assessment, was $217,900. But I think that that number is significantly higher in the year 2022. This, these are late 2021 data. Um, so... It, 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 you know, I don't, I, you know, so I, I think the, the home prices in Gwinnett County, the average, uh, the medium home value is, is significantly higher than what's represented here in this uh, particular source. All right. So that is number five. Let's go ahead and move over to number four. Let's do it. So here we are with number four. Um, and this is the largest county in the Atlanta metropolitan area for sure. Fulton County Schools. Uh, Fulton County Schools ranked number four amongst the top five Atlanta metropolitan school districts. Um, so let's just drill in and dial in and we're going to do the same approach that we did uh, for Gwinnett County. So Summary, uh, Fulton County School is highly rated public school district in the Atlanta, Georgia area. It has 93,897 students in grades um, uh, K through 12 uh, with a student teacher ratio of 15 to 1. According to the uh, state test scores, 51% of students are at least proficient in math and 53% are proficient in reading, okay? Uh, let's just take a look at some of the programs that are offered uh, here in this district as it relates to um, the different type of uh, curriculum that they can do, and it's right here. So Fulton County Schools do offer the AP Advanced Placement as well as the uh, International Baccalaureate uh, Diplomas as well as the gifted program uh, for uh, the, I think gifted program is, is, is starts in elementary. Uh, but so all three of those programs are offered, which are international programs that are known around the country for sure. And, uh, and with uh, Fulton County offering the IB, most of your Atlanta metropolitan area schools will offer the international uh, baccalaureate uh, curriculum now so let's take a look at uh some of the other areas where the rankings were so uh fulton county schools is the fourth most diverse school district in georgia uh it is the 10th uh best school district for athletes in georgia and it's the 24th best school district in georgia and again as i said in the beginning of the video uh, we are looking at the Atlanta Metropolitan School Districts, not the entire school district of Georgia. Okay, so Fulton County does rank number four uh, amongst the inner city or the metropolitan area districts. Okay, now let's just take a look at the map uh, to show you. So I will tell you this, the Fulton County School District is really, really weird because as you can see on this map, uh, the entire city limit of Atlanta is completely disassociated with these two different maps. Um, and the reason for that is Atlanta Public Schools or the Atlanta City Limits has its own city public schools, okay? So any area in Fulton County, because Atlanta is still in Fulton County, the city limits, but the non-city limit areas of Fulton County is going to be covered by the county school district, which is the Fulton County School District. Okay, so just that is the reason why this map is not encompassing of Atlanta. All right, just in case you was wondering, I know that you probably should have been wondering that for sure. Um, so this is the map. So you have really 
Fullerton County is one of those situations that is just, to me, like I said, again, just weird. We almost have like North Fulton and South Fulton, okay? Uh, so much so that there is a new incorporate, newly incorporated city uh, within the last five years, South Fulton, Georgia. Uh, so, so it, it, you know, but still down here in South Fulton County, um, you still, they're still a part of Fulton County schools. Uh, so South Fulton County did, did not create their own school systems, but I digress. But these are the, this is the map of the two school districts. So if you're going to be looking for real estate, looking to move north of Atlanta, um, in the Milton, the Alpharetta, um, Let's see, bigger known cities there. So, I mean, the two bigger known areas there is Milton, Alpharetta, uh, and then kind of that uh, that Ridgeview Forest, Ham, uh, Hamid, uh, Abernathy Road, kind of in that area there, uh, just west of Dunwoody. All right, you're going to be in the uh, Fulton County uh, School District, okay? And so, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at the top schools in Fulton County as far as elementary school. And then we're going to go middle and high. All right. So, uh, Lake Windward Elementary School, never heard of that one. Barnwell Elementary School, Creekview, Spalding Drive Elementary School, and Metlock Bridge are the top five elementary schools. Webb Bridge, River Trail, Archery Mill. Taylor Road, Fulton Academy of uh, Science and Technology are your top five middle. And for your high schools, you have Northview, Alpharetta, Chattahoochee High, Johns Creek, and Milton High. Okay, so those are going to be your top five um, high schools in Fulton County. So let's just go ahead and drill in on the academics again. 53% uh, are proficient in reading. And 51% are proficient in math. Um, graduation rate is a very important one. The Fulton County School District has a higher graduation rate than Gwinnett County, as we just saw, uh, at 87%. The average SAT score is 1190, and the average uh, ACT score is 27. All right, let's drill down again here. So as I said before, 93,000 students in the school, 46.8% are on free or reduced lunch. Um, and it has a astounding five to one, uh, student teacher ratio, um, at, and the national average is 17.1. Okay. So let's look at the average teacher salary in Fulton County. Uh, comes in at about $63,446. These teachers in their first or second year is a 29.6%, which is a ex astounding difference from Gwinnett County, which was a lot more consistent. And uh, uh, most of their teachers were seasoned. Whereas in this district, almost 30% of the teachers are first or second year teachers. Okay. So definitely want to keep that in mind if you're looking for uh, uh, a school district with, you know, a little bit more seasoned teachers. All right, so let's look at another important metric, in my opinion, which is the expense per student. Uh, $12,745 uh, Fulton County stacks in. Uh, they are over the national average. Uh, they uh, allocated 59% for instructions, 36% for uh, support services. Um, so that is number four. That's number fourth district, Fulton County Schools. So let's take a look at number three. Let's do it. So number three, we are here with number three, and that is going to be, as you see on the screen, Cobb County Public Schools, one of my favorite counties here in Georgia. Um, and let's take a look at their report card. Then we'll go to the map to show you what areas uh, Cobb County encompasses. All right. So Cobb County School is a highly rated public school district located in Marietta. It has a total of about 112,097 students in grades uh, pre-K through 12th. Uh, with a student teacher ratio of uh, five to one, according to the state test scores, 54% of students are at least proficient in math and 55% are in reading. All right. So let's take a look at the map to show you exactly what area this uh, school district encompasses. Uh, another caveat uh, here. Uh, about Cobb County, similar to Atlanta, how it was a carve out around just that one city. Um, uh, Cobb County is the same. Marietta has its own public school system, city schools. So Marietta City Schools. 
um, is a it is its own district. Okay, so if you're gonna live in the city limits of Marietta, likely your students will not be students of Cobb County Public Schools. They would be students of Marietta City Public Schools. Okay, so let me give you the the view of um, the entire county here. S multiple cities here in uh, Cobb County Public Schools. So, but you have you have Powder Springs, you have Ackworth. And you have, what's this big area over here? I forget what city is over here. Um, it's kind of pretty much going to be East Cobb is this general area. Uh, and then you have Smyrna down here to the bottom. And then you have Mableton down here at the bottom here. Okay. So if you're, if you're looking in that particular area, um, you're going to be in the third best school district here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So let's just drill back out here and let's look at, um, some of the programs that are offered. So again, they offer the AP courses, they offer the IB, uh, course and diploma, uh, and they have a gifted program. Okay. Uh, let's look at the school ratings. Uh, it is number two best school district for athletes in Georgia. Cobb County ranks number two. The most diverse school district in Georgia. Cobb County ranks number six. Best school district in Georgia. Cobb County ranks number 18. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual individualized grade level schools. Top five in each category. You have Timber Ridge Elementary, Soap Creek Elementary, Mountain View, Eastside, and Shalliford Falls. And then for middle schools, you have Dickerson, Simpson, Dodgen, Lost Mountain, High Tower Trail. And then for high school, you have Walton High, Wheeler High, Kennesaw Mountain High, Lassiter, and Pope High. Okay, so those are your individualized um, best schools in those categories. Let's take a look at the uh, graduation rate, 87% higher than Gwinnett County um, and to par with Fulton. Um, SAT score is a little bit higher than Fulton. It's at 1170. SAT score is comparable. Uh, average SAT score is comparable. Uh, yeah. And the average teacher salary in Cobb County is $63,420. Uh, another good statistic here we have in Cobb County is going to be the teachers, uh, first year, second year teachers is only 8.5%, which shows a little bit more consistency with, uh, teachers staying in place and being, becoming seasoned, uh, professionals in that County. Okay. Uh, expense per student Cobb County is definitely need more improvement here in this area. Only $11,556. Uh, per student better than Gwinnett not quite as good as Fulton uh, and and below the national average um, they spend their money accordingly here 66% in instructional uh, expense and 29% uh, in supportive services and let's drop down here and take a look at the stats on the uh, Marietta area so you can you can see that for yourself. I'm not going to read that because it's, it's a little bit more. I mean, again, it's focused on just Marietta, but Cobb County is, is bigger than just Marietta. So don't get caught up on that. We'll definitely do. Um, if you go to the channel, you'll see some vlogs in those particular areas where you can see kind of the, uh, the medium, uh, home values and, and such. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the second best school district here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. All right. So we got our number two, number two, we're almost there. Almost there with number one. Number two is going to be Fayette County Public Schools. Fayette County Public Schools. And uh, let's show you here on the map where is Fayette County. Fayette County is going to be located south, uh, west of Atlanta, uh, way down there. Uh, not too far, but it, it is a, it's probably, uh, Fayette County is about 30 miles uh, southwest of um, Atlanta. So some of the cities that Fayette County encompasses uh, is going to be Tyrone, Brooks, uh, Woosley, um, Peachtree City, and uh, Fayetteville. Okay, so if you're looking at any of those cities, then your student is going to be a, 
a uh, student of the Fayette County School District, which is the second best school district here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So uh, let's just give you some, some stats here. Fayette County School District has about 20,538 students from, K, from uh, grades uh, K through 12, pre-K through 12, with a student-teacher ratio of 14 to 1. All right. According to the state test uh, scores, 64% of students are at least proficient in math and 67% are proficient in reading. OK, um, now one notable uh, difference here in Fayette County amongst the other schools districts that we talked about is the missing of the international baccalaureate diploma. So that is not an option for Fayette County schools at this time. OK, so if that is a program that you want your student to uh, participate in or the type of curriculum uh, that you want them to lay out for high school, uh, they cannot get that in Fayette County schools, okay? So let's just take a look at some of the rankings for the uh, Fayette County schools. Uh, it is the sixth best school district in Georgia. It is ranked number 24 of 180, uh, the most diverse districts in Georgia. Uh, so not that diverse. Uh, students with the best teachers, it ranks number 28 in Georgia, okay? So it does rank in those areas. And uh, let's look at the graduation rate for Fayette County schools. Uh, high graduation, 90% of the students graduate. Uh, uh, the SAT average uh, SAT score is 1180. And the ACT is actually 27, which I think is the highest we've seen uh, out of all of the school districts that we've looked at so far. Um, Student-teacher ratio here in Fayette County, 14 to 1, which is great. Average school, average teacher salary here in uh, Fayette County is $62,946. Now, check this out. Only 1.1% of the teachers in Fayette County are first to second year teachers. So, your students in Fayette County will definitely be taught by some very experienced teachers, okay? Uh, let's take a look at how much money is being spent per student. Here in Fayette County, they are doing right at the average that all around the nation is doing uh, $12,254 per student. Let's take a look at the Fayetteville area as far as the medium home income. Uh, household income is going to be $73,526. The medium rents in the Fayetteville area is $1,157. And the medium home value is $224,100. Okay, so that is going to be your number two best district in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Let's move on to number one. That's what you came here for. What is the best school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area? I'm going to give it to you right now. Okay, so we made it to our very first one, our, our number one school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area, and that is going to be City of Decatur Schools. All right, City Schools of Decatur. Okay. Um, let me give you the map view of where this is located. Okay, so Decatur sits east of Atlanta, probably um, about 12 miles east of Atlanta, if that. Um, and it is a very small school district, as I said before. Um, as you can see, that's like literally all the schools there. You can, you can kind of see them. Uh, we can go one by one, right? Um, so it's a very small school district in comparison to some of the other uh, school districts that we have um, looked at. So essentially, there's only one city for this district, which is Decatur, and that's going to be inner city limits Decatur. OK, uh, Decatur unincorporated goes all the way through here. All of this is unincorporated Decatur. OK, so all of this here and then it kind of goes stone mountain in this area but all of this here is unincorporated decatur so you definitely want to make sure that if you want to be in the city of decatur schools that you are in the city limits of decatur okay uh, real estate is very scarce uh very real estate in this area is very expensive but it is worth it for sure for the best school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area. All right, so let's just drill down here. Let's take a look at some of the 
programs offered. So uh, the City of Decatur Schools, City Schools of Decatur, offer all of the programs that we talked about before, the uh, Advanced Placement, the International Baccalaureate Diploma, and the Gifted Program is offered as well. Okay, so let's look at some of the rankings for the city schools of Decatur. Uh, it ranks number five out of the state best districts of Georgia. It ranks number five. Uh, it ranks number 23 for the best district uh, teachers and uh, the best place to teach in Georgia. It ranks number 45. Okay, um, let's look at some of the elementary schools, the best top five. There was only seven elementary schools here in the city schools of Decatur, but that's a lot. Uh, Oakhurst, Westchester, New Glenwood, Claremont, Fifth Avenue Upper. Okay, that is going to be your top five elementary. There's only one middle school, which is Renfro Middle, and there's only one high school, Decatur High School. Okay, let's look at some of the academic performance. So as I mentioned before, 71% of their students are proficient in reading. 66% of their students are proficient in math. Uh, and then let's look at the graduation rate. How about that? 95% graduation rate. A average SAT scores, almost, you know, I mean, it's, it is better than any of the school districts that we've looked at thus far at 1220. And uh, a higher ACT score that we've seen in all of the five districts. Um, the students... The size of the school district, 5,874 students. I kind of drew that circle all crazy. Uh, so 5,874 in the students. As you can see, uh, only 13.3% of the students are on free or reduced lunch, which lets you know that this is a, a different uh, area as it relates to the income of the parents. Um, Student-teacher ratio. 13 to 1. So a very small class size in comparison. Um, average teacher salary is $53,366. And first year to second year students, I mean teachers, sorry, 1.8%. So that is a very low number, which means, hey, they stick around. Another cool um, statistic to look at for the city of Decatur schools is going to be the expense per student. They are well above the national average, uh, almost five thousand plus dollars. Well, five thousand plus dollars over the national average per student. Uh, they're coming in at seventeen thousand five hundred and forty-four dollar per student uh, that they invest uh, for their students' education. Of that seventeen thousand five hundred and forty-four dollars, sixty-two percent goes towards their instruction, and uh, thirty-four percent for the support services. All right, so let's look at the. Um, Let's look at the area, uh, living in the area. Uh, the average household income in the city of Decatur uh, is going to be 106000 The uh, medium rents in the area is 1015 The medium home values is about $521,900. Okay. So it has a lot to offer for, uh, for what you're paying. Uh, city uh, Schools of Decatur is very, very prominent here uh, in Atlanta. And you, you, they're always doing uh, different things. And this is a public school. These are all public school districts, guys. So, yeah, the real estate may be a little bit more expensive, but your children's education is is, is priceless. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to end it right here. So, there you have it. Those were the best top five school districts in the Atlanta metropolitan area to date for 2022. I hope you was able to get some insight. Hope you was able to answer some of your questions as it relates to student teacher ratio, how much money is invested per student and overall uh, how they measure up amongst each other here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So yeah, there were a couple of school districts that were not spoken of uh, uh, and I'll just name them and I'll put them on the screen. Uh, Atlanta public schools was not named. Clayton County Public Schools was not named. DeKalb County Public Schools was not named. Um, and there were uh, some more, uh, even the Marietta City uh, Schools just barely uh, missed the top five, but they were not in the top five. So again, if you have more questions about school districts here in the Atlanta metropolitan area, feel free to drop a comment below. I answer every comment. 
uh, that comes onto the channel. So let's have a conversation in the comments. Also, if you're thinking, seriously thinking about moving here to the Atlanta metropolitan area, uh, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button with the notification bell on. So you'll be notified when I drop more content. Also, if you're seriously thinking about relocating here to Atlanta, my team and I want to be a resource for you. We stand ready to make sure you have a smooth move here to Atlanta. So definitely my contact information is in the description below. Reach out to me, send me an email, and let's talk about getting you here to Atlanta. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.